So we believe that while everybody is learning tech, but not everybody is the same. People have interests outside of tech as well. People have different spikes. And one of the best ways to nurture that spike is through having student-driven clubs. Those clubs cannot be left alone. I mean, they need to have some goals that is driving them. But it is important to have student-driven clubs. And hence, we have these clubs at Scalar School of Technology as well. In a way, if you look at your schedule at Scalar School of Technology, you have these five days, Monday to Friday, where you're going through your classes. But then there are these two days, Saturday and Sunday, which is your time off. This is where you relax. This is where you catch up on your backlog if you have any. And most importantly, this is where you explore your interests even more. This is not to say that those are the only two days when this happens. You tend to also relax a little bit and like chill after your classes on weekdays as well. But that is, I mean, most of it happens on weekends. So let me talk a little bit about what kinds of clubs exist. Firstly, there is the Student Council Club, which is the overarching club which looks at all form of student interest. It also governs most of the other clubs in some ways. Apart from that, there are these tech clubs. Now, within tech clubs, we have an open source club. Uh, this is the club which has people who are contributing to open source. The same group also, by the way, takes up certain projects from different companies. For example, we've now taken up a project from Zolo Rooms, which is a student housing company, and we're trying to build that as part of open source. This is a club, club that is targeting that they contribute to open source and they get into Google Summer of Code or Linux Foundation. In fact, even things that are being used by students on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, um, we needed to build an attendance application so that we can take daily attendance of students. Even that application has been built by this club. In a way, anything and everything that is required for the student infrastructure technically is built by the open source club. Then you have the competitive programming club. Um, this is where you have the brilliant problem solvers or people who are interested in problem solving. They compete in programming competitions happening all around the world. So out of this club came out a team that participated in ICPC. ICPC is the Olympics of programming. And they competed with a lot of people all around India, I mean, which is primarily people who are in their third year and fourth year. So these guys, four months into the program, competed with those guys and were able to then reach the national level where um, they represented Scalar School of Technology as their college. Um, they were in the top 150 teams, and I hope that with as they spend more time, they learn more, they'll become even better at this and someday go on and represent the country as well. Not just that, I mean, they participate in other competitions as well. Um, they've also won a few competitions, and I again hope that that will happen more and more off as this club becomes bigger and bigger. But you don't only have the tech clubs, you have other forms of clubs as well. For example, um, we have a media club. Now, this is the club that, in a way, um, takes care of uh, creating content um, for all, anything that is happening on the campus. And that they are the ones who keep bringing those content on to YouTube, and then that, that is what you might be seeing around you as well. Very similarly, we have a TED Talk tribe. Um, this is the club where you polish your speaking skills. Um, for those of you who aspire to become better at public speaking. This is the club that also maintains our um, newsletter, which is called Odyssey, which is a magazine which has whatever is happening in SST as of today. Um, very similarly, there is a cultural club. Uh, they are in a way responsible for keeping you happy. <laughs> so all, for all festivals, uh, everything related to dance, music, um, all of that goes through the cultural club and they are responsible for organizing. Um, in fact, there are people part of this club who also um, unwind via music and guitar, post classes, where they have an area on the fifth floor. There's a music room there. Um, they have music equipment too, to relax. We also have a sports club. Um, they are responsible for organizing all forms of sports competition. We've had a basketball competition, we've had a table tennis competition, we've had a cricket tournament now, where, uh, to be honest, the cricket tournament was done not just within the Scalar School of Technology students, but they also had certain Scalar students participating. And um, it, it went on for like four days. There were more than 30 matches on the exact IPL theme with the proper auction, etc. So that happens as part of the sports club. We are, however, not limited to just these clubs. People who are interested in a certain thing, they end up 
if they have enough people, they end up starting their own clubs. For example, we have a club for entrepreneurship, which is called the eCell Club. Um, we have a club for game development. Um, and I mean, as and when we have enough people with a particular interest, we'll start a club for that. The one thing common, however, is that every club has a goal, has an annual goal of what they want to achieve through their members, and that is what they strive towards, so that the clubs remain active.